Are you wondering if your kid's gonna grow up to have teeth like Amy Lou Wood? There's a ton of hype around Amy's teeth right now. People are reviewing her left and right, breaking it down from an orthodontic perspective, from this perspective, that perspective. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the behaviors from early childhood that lead to that type of malocclusion. The major characteristics of Amy's teeth are narrow, upper jaw V-shaped, excessive overbite, flare of the upper incisors, and open mouth posture. Early sucking habits can account for all of these bite problems, whether that's sucking on fingers, thumbs, sucking on a poorly shaped, poorly designed pacifier, the wrong size pacifier, sucking too long. These things can all cause these problems. Narrow, upper jaw, flared out incisors. This was a pacifier kid. Boop. Here's another thumb sucker, and this was a pacifier child. But Amy Lou Wood is super cute, so why does this matter? Remember, roof of the mouth, floor of the nose, narrow upper jaw, narrow nose, worse nasal breathing. Open mouth posture where the lip is held up all the time. It's gonna dry out teeth, more cavities, more periodontal problems, bad breath. So I know some of you are gonna say, oh, but my kids suck their thumb, their teeth look like this, and then they quit and it got better. Sometimes it gets better, sometimes it doesn't. Why? I'm gonna get into that in my next video, so stay tuned. We're gonna talk about what factors influence whether or not a sucking habit, a problem in your youth is gonna cause these open bite narrow arch problems later on, or if it has the potential to self-resolve.